Good morning guys, Ranch Boss here. It's been a while since I've done a public service safety announcement and I think it's time. One of the rules for hunting is when to load and unload your gun and around buildings is not a good place. It's a very dangerous place. Here at uh, Independence Ranch we've got a pretty nice parking lot. You can see it behind me, it's pretty big. And this is not a place to be loading and unloading guns is in the parking lot. And you're never too young, you're never too too old to have a, a what could possibly be a deadly accident. Well, not too long ago, we had a guy, probably in his 70s, been hunting 50 plus, 60 years. And he decided that the back seat of his car was an excellent place to unload his 7mm mag. And he blew the back window of his vehicle out. And he also blew a hole in the vehicle park next to him. So over here in the parking lot, I was uh, doing a little work and I noticed this shiny stuff in the, uh, in the gravel and I was, I was thinking, what is this? Then I realized this is the window from his vehicle and this is the window from the vehicle next to him. You can see this stuff. So to reiterate, very important safety rules in handling and loading guns. And if you listen to this, it might just save your life or someone else's life around you. You don't load a gun until your butt is in the seat of your blind. Then you can safely load. But before you leave that blind, unload that gun. Can you imagine passing a loaded gun up or down and somebody grabs it by the trigger and you forgot to put the safety back on? You know how many hunters have been killed in this country over the last hundred years having their head blown off or a hole put through them? Uh, from that very act of passing a loaded gun up and down uh, into a blind. So don't do that. When your butt's in the chair, that's when you load and unload. And if you're doing a spot and stock here at Independence Ranch, and really anywhere where you hunt, don't load. Don't leave your camp with a loaded gun. That gun should, shouldn't even be in your cabin. Leave it in your vehicle outside. Why do you need to bring that gun in, in into your cabin? Because you know what? Accidents cannot happen if that gun is not present. One last story. A few years ago, I had this uh, deputy dog, we'll call him, Barney Fife individual, come to the ranch, and he made a real big deal about he has a concealed handgun license, and by God, nobody's going to tell him where he can and can't carry his gun. I should have just thrown him off the ranch that day when he started with that attitude, but I'm like I'm trying to get along, and it's okay, we'll just be sure and keep it holstered when you're in the buildings. So at 11 o'clock that night, he's sitting around a campfire with some other hunters, some of my staff members. And what is this clown doing? He pulls out his pistol and he starts playing with it with people, 15, 20 people sitting around a campfire. Well, guess what? He accidentally discharged his gun. The bullet hit a rock. It came up and hit one of the other people in the leg. And it, it wasn't serious damage, but who wants to get hit by a piece of shrapnel? So don't play with guns, guys. Guns are deadly. They're used for hunting, at least in our application. And uh, keep it safe for you and everybody around you, and y'all come visit us.